Shalom, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, June 26, 2020, Double Vision. Let me show you a list of resources you can get. Name means Hallelujah Scriptures. All right. Beautiful. It's come from the Hallelujah Scriptures. All right. It's got all the different names and what they mean. Got the alphabet. This was sanctioned by the Holy Spirit. All right. Then. That comes from the Hallelujah Scriptures. Then you have Hallelujah Scriptures. Alright, the actual book. That's why I'll be getting most of my, I won't say interpretation, but that's why I'll be getting most of the uh, transliterations from, from out of Hallelujah Scriptures. Then, King James, Holy Bible, alright? This is the Cambridge edition. Um, this is the Cambridge University Press, alright? So you'll know. It's a good one. This is the, for His Majesty, alright? Then we have... This right here. This is important. Royal Evil Math. They probably got an update one now. I got this a while back. It gives you the 360 and the 720 of a word. The 360 and the 720 of a word. Hebrew word. And it breaks down in pictograph. Um, Hebrew. So you can have that as well. Then, we have the majesty of God's law. This will give you a brief history. Brief history of how the Most High's law was constructed here in these United States. Last but not, well not even last. Then we have the Tajweed, Quran. The transliteration. All right. Hope you can see that. It's beautiful. It's got English, and it's got the Arabic with the vowel points and the guttural points uh, color coded. Then we have the complete apocrypha. All right. So that's what we got there. So, I want to address something. A lot of Israelites talk about God is not dealing with Esau. He's not dealing with the white man. He after the white man. He this, he that. Don't you know? <laughs> Shem, Esau, or brothers. Don't you know the scriptures say, one shall serve the other? <laughs> it also say that one age is the beginning, one age is the end. The Most High is not determining his blessing of immortality upon nations. Now, nah. the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God in his Mashiach. Wait, let me say that again. The kingdoms of this world have become our God's, our God. And his Mashiach. Uh, last time I checked, God is just to all mankind. <laughs> God is just to all mankind. 
eternity is open for all. Let me just say that to you Israelites. Yeah. When. <laughs> when. The curtain was ripped in the temple. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Did I even bring it? I didn't bring it out. About the secret of the temple of man of man of, of man it didn't say of Israelite Esau Gog Magog Goma it, it didn't say nothing like that it said of man this book is about mankind and God's purpose for mankind for Adam Adam encompasses all mankind. For you Israelites, let's say, no intermingling, no race mixing. Uh, don't expound on the word of God where he did not say. In the law, it tells you that he only told you to not intermingle with seven of those tribes, communities. Which was way before when the Mashiach has come. See, when the Messiah came, he made a break in time. From the old age to the new age. To the age of enlightenment. To the age of out of darkness. Where one man or, or one nation oppressed another nation. He demonstrated that. To the Israelites, because they did not understand that just because the Most High chose you, He chose you to do a thing. What did He choose the Israelites to do? He chose the Israelites to obey and promote God's law. God's law is universal and it is both just and holy. You must have a just weight and a just measure. You must have one law for the native born and the stranger. I don't think y'all realize that. You must have one law. That means no hypocrisy. That means what you extend for yourself. You extend for them. When the Messiah came, he opened up the door for all the sons of Noah. For all the sons of Adam. And when I say Adam, I'm talking about women too. So you don't have to be in your feelings about that. Man, woman, and child. Adam or Atom A-T-O-M so you saying that the most high doesn't allow for you to intermarry right let me give you a hypothetical for you to think about Say a man, right, been living his whole life as a so-called Gentile. Married some Chinese woman, Swedish woman, or whatever. Didn't have no thought of who the Most High is. It's none of this about the Bible. He's just living his life. Don't even agree. Don't have a pain. You don't, you know, never thought about eternity or immortality. He comes into the truth, right? Comes into the truth. About who he is. About who God is, really. Does he now divorce his wife? Leave his kids? 
What does does he now do that? Hmm? Does he now do that? So you gonna make him a adulterer now? Now you gonna instruct him to commit adultery and get divorced? Uh, you might want to think about that. Because you'll make him a more child of hell. See, in the times past, right before the Messiah, they was instructed in the law. That means they had someone instructing them in the law, day by day. It was a community thing, close-knit. But here in this day and age, it's not that way. It's not that way for a lot of human, a lot of um, a lot of mankind. It's not that way. People are free to think and come to God on their own terms. There's no hold around a community like it used to be. It's not like that anymore. Some places, yes. Some places, yes. But the overall, it's not that way. But then you also have the vice versa, where you have those traditions that don't that don't coincide with this. So you cannot be closed minded. That's why you have to have righteous judgment, because you will cause harm, more harm than what is needed. Because you went off and you told this man, oh, you know. You got to divorce your wife because you love this woman. Don't don't matter her nationality. You know what I'm saying? Don't matter her nationality. It means that he just loved this woman. Last time I checked, there is no law on love. Oh, if you find that law, please put it in the comment below. What law is there against love? That's how you reveal your hate in your heart. That's how you know you're still diseased in, diseased in your mind. Because you think that there's some type of law on love. Tell me, what law is it on love? Is there a law on love? No. Because love is just. Okay? And it's equal across the board. So, just while you think about that, I also want to go into this like this. Yes, in times past, the Most High did not deal with other nations as he has dealt with Israel. What does that mean? That means he didn't hold the other nations by the hand. He didn't hold them by the hand like he did Israel. Giving them the law every day, feeding them well, showing them signs, miracles, all, all these other things. He didn't, he didn't do that with other nations. But it does not mean he didn't deal with other nations. It just means he didn't deal with them in the way that he dealt with Israel. As a sheep, as a, as a sheep, coddling, nourishing, and taking care of them. No, he set principalities and powers over them who were instructed in the natural law of God. That's what he did. And natural law, right, is just as potent as the most high law. In fact, they are in harmony and in sync with each other. What I mean by God's law, the written law, what's written, not what is done by, by nature, by knowing. Someone harm you, you won't harm them back. That's natural. Someone trying to harm you, you're going to try to defend yourself. You're going to try to keep safe. That's natural. And that's on a basic level. Someone cares for you, take care of you. It's kind to you, feed you, help you, clothe you. You know, do those things. You're going to want the same for them. Are you so void of love that you cannot give that type of love? 
Oh, let me let me ask you this. And this this might God forbid that you would have to have a test like this or you have some 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 sense like this, right? You end up homeless. Or there's no food in the community, you can't eat. But yet so called Esau, right? Will come by and feed you. Make sure your family is doing well. No intentions. Just doing it because he don't want to see from his own self. Something that he don't want for his own self. You never experienced that? You, you never experienced that? You never been in a humble state of, of thought and mind or lifestyle? So you got to have righteous judgment. A lot of you Israelites talking about the white man. Hold up. You know about Gog and Magog? Gog and Magog is the one that's going to chastise America. What are you talking about? And who's using them? The Most High is using Gog and Magog to chastise America. Oh, but that's the white man, though. Last time I checked, they was in the Table of Nations of JFF. But yet, he... Doing God's law. I, I don't understand. So the question is. Are you on God's side? Or are you in the congregation of the holy? Because we don't take no sides. You understand? We on God's side. We don't, we don't take no sides. We, we, ain't on, we don't take no sides. We on God's side. That means we living in the light. Eyes open, righteous judgment, righteous discernment. Yes, there are innocent dying. You think the Most High can't take care of the innocent? What do you think? What do you think He sends certain principalities and powers to do to chastise the wicked? That's in Ezra's. That there are those who are watching those. There's levels, hierarchies. There's people watching people in political atmospheres, in community atmosphere. But it's breaking down in the community. You understand? Know it's breaking down in the community because people don't have dialogue, don't have love anymore. They're desensitized. That's why the scripture says many love, many uh, people's love will wax cold. They don't understand what the problem is. The problem has nothing to do with uh, neighbor to neighbor. That's not the problem. The problem is scarcity of money. Of currency. You understand? That's the problem. That The love of money is the root of all evil. Okay? But our currency is not just rooted in the paper dollars or the stocks or the house. It's rooted in life. You are the most precious commodity. But if that commodity is not being utilized to the best of its potential, it becomes discouraged. It becomes Ill-mannered. Then the forces of hate, anger, bitterness, resentment comes available. Arrogance. Oppression. Why? Because one is being greedy for that same currency. One don't ha there's there's not a there's enough, but the one who is being greedy is not able to be generous because they greedy. <laughs> so the one who don't have enough is angry because he don't have enough. But we turning, times are changing. Why? Why? The Most High say that the world will be turned over to a new spirit. When the oppressors 
are removed. When the wicked are removed. Now that you rolling with the devil, you don't even know. You got hate, anger, animosity, resentment, arrogance, pride. Thinking God got to respect you. Didn't you read what the Messiah said? The children going to be cast out. That the rocks can be put in place of the children. The children of Israel. Because they don't want to get right. Get right with themselves first. That, that Get right with themselves first. We are a separate nation. He says, oh, gather together you nation. Not desire. We don't have to overthrow their government. We form our own government. We find the wisest and the judges who are wise amongst our community and we form our government. And we have those laws that are constrained, that will constrain by consent of the governed. That's how you go about doing what you have to do, by implementing God's law. But remember, you should have a law that is equal for the foreigner, the stranger, and the native born. You should have just and equal weight. Meaning, my currency can't be said is worth more than your currency. Meaning, my labor can't be uh, uh, labored, or, or uh, I say, my labor can't be labeled worth more than your labor so for you Israelites that think that the most high cares about who you love if you think that is what the judgment is or based off of because somebody loves a Chinese woman because someone uh, loves a Caucasian man. You think that the Most High is judging off that? Let me just give you this. Give you a few questions. Have you stolen anything in your life? Have you told any lies in your life? Yeah, I'm talking to you Israelites. Have you disrespected your mother and your father in your life? Have you coveted your neighbor's goods, wife, sheep, goat? Have you done any of those things? Mm -hmm. If you say yes to any one of those things, that means you're guilty. And you are in the seat of judgment for hellfire. For the lake of fire. That goes for every mankind, every atom on this earth. Oh, you don't believe me? Go read Second Ezra chapter 8. So back to what I was saying. God has dealt with other nations. And he is dealing with other nations. So that his plan and his purpose can be played out. And he tests you. He tests you. By your neighbor and your nations. To see whether or not. You will be righteous. Or you will be wicked. How can you. Say that you for the most high and you not be tried. Who do you think he's going to try you with? Some candy? <laughs> huh? What do you think he's going to be tried against? Other, hum other mankind, other human beings. Shabbat Shalom. 
I hope you learn something. All praises to the Most High. I hope you think about what I said. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The door of salvation is for every mankind. It don't matter if you're black or white. <laughs> God is about righteous actions. If you think that God is judging you because you are with some Caucasian woman or some Japhetic or Shemetic or some Hamite woman or man, vice versa, and God is judging you off of that, boy, you got to wait on your head. <laughs> because last time I checked, judgment is based off of you. <laughs> Your actions and what you do. When you standing before the throne, there will be nobody in front of the judge but you. <laughs> he ain't going to ask you about your husband. He ain't going to ask you about your wife. He going to ask whether or not you did right. <laughs> and when them angels roll out that book, well, you know, they probably play the tape now. You know what I mean? Roll that tape. <laughs> it's going to be focused on you. Your words and your deeds. Shabbat shalom. <laughs>